started for me when I was young and I had no voice. But I had a sister who was a painter and I had a sister who was a writer. They were 10 and 12 years older than I. And I felt intimidated to try. And so it was when I was already married and divorced and in another relationship that I really got into painting. For me, it was freedom. I have to let my muscles go and my mind relax or I will never finish a painting. That's the hardest thing because I paint very energetically and I'm asking myself to be peaceful. We're never satisfied, are we? Well, gardens are very much like a painting. They change. And for an abstract expressionist, they're absolutely the best because the variance of colors and the lines and the diagonals are um, so powerful. Yeah. And then the, you get it all set up and the next year you have to change it again because something has died. And so it's a process of developing without a formality, but more by sort of intuition and will. It feels very much like doing a big painting. This rock came out of the creek. Um, Butch Jealous was doing some work on the, the land right next to the creek, down by the creek cottage, and he ran into this rock and he pulled it out and it sat at the end of the road. And I needed, I needed a, um, a big rock here and we went down and looked at it and thought, well, we could use that. Now, why that is important is it, because it comes from the creek. And the creek has been very much part of my life here. It's Piney Creek, Lower Piney Creek. So it's part of our body. And it's fun to have a rock from, from the source. I did this painting when um, I had the Sheridan in. I didn't have time to paint, but I had time to do sumi. And doing sumi was every Thursday for three hours. And it made me sane, or kept me sane. It's a distillation of emotion and my learning that a delicate mark can be as powerful as a heavy lead splash declaration of vitality in ink. So I would look at this and say this would be almost floral. As I look at it now, it never was when I was painting it. But as I look at it now, I see that this, some of these same images are beginning to come out early on. But it really was about being gentle.
flowers, not with the sentimental attitude, but without any attitude, just for the glory of the flower, just for the color, just for the energy, just for the lasting, rocketing love that they provide in the world and just enjoying the color, the form. So that's what started um, a whole series on flowers. And this painting here was the culmination. And the interesting thing is there's a part, there's a second painting that is hanging on top of the big one. And it was leaning up against the painting, and it looked kind of like it was meant to be there. And I looked at it for a couple of days and I thought, you know what? It does, it belongs in the painting. It belongs to be part of it, so I had it attached. But this painting is about the whole history of flowerhood, the lushness of it, the um, essence of it, the strength of it. Flowers, flowers fill me with energy. I don't know if they do that for other people, but they do it for me. So this is a culmination of it. They are more of the sort of abstract expressionist kind of marks. There's a quietude about this painting that I like. There are individual parts of it that touch me and I hold on to. I'm catching, capturing a moment, a moment where my heart and my mind were with flowers. It's very simple. But in the end, a painting is something that I create in a moment. I'm capturing a moment, I'm not capturing the world.